A great way to get more engagement and grow your channel with YouTube Shorts as a small business is to share your journey with your audience, like sharing a quick montage of where you started from and where you are now. And in this quick tutorial, we'll show you just how you can do that in under 15 minutes with the help of this in-video template. Simply click on use this template to go to the editor. Here you have a very intuitive setup. The main canvas shows you the preview of the video you're creating and all your scenes are placed on the timeline area below the canvas and they are already synced to a royalty free audio track so you don't have to change the music track or readjust the duration of the scenes in any way. On the left hand side of the screen you have the complete assets menu. From here, you can choose different assets such as videos, images, text and music to add to your video. Now let's begin editing. We are recreating this short for someone who built a social media agency from scratch, but you can customize it for any type of product or service. If you have video clips of your own, you can upload them using the uploads option in the left menu, else you can follow along to see how you can use stock videos to recreate this short. We highly suggest that you use your own clips as much as possible in a short like this to give your audience a real insight into your brand or business. The template is set up in a way that it showcases your journey right from your business's inception to where it stands now. It currently has eight scenes, each reflecting a different step in your brand's journey. But you can choose to delete some of the scenes if you have fewer details to share, or you can add scenes if you need to share more. Just use this plus icon right above the timeline to add more scenes if you need them. For the first slide, we want to replace the video of a woman organizing stationery with that of someone filming on their phone. So we'll go to the video tab in the left menu and search for the same using the search bar. Try a few different keyword combinations to find a clip that fits. Once we find a clip from the search results, I will simply drag and drop it onto the canvas. This will open up a pop-up window where I want to hit replace. Another pop-up window will appear where you want to trim the clip to fit the duration of the scene, which is shown by this vertical dotted line on the player. This is important, otherwise the sync of the clips to the audio will go haywire. Simply select this option on the bottom left corner that says trim video to fit scene and click on add and your video will replace the template default. If the clip appears slightly blurry or pixelated, don't worry because sometimes the editor takes time to load. It will be exported in high definition only. You similarly want to replace the video clips for all the remaining scenes, making sure that the clips you choose fit the point that you're trying to make. For this video, I'm going to choose clips that represent the journey of the social media manager. If you make a mistake or add a clip you don't want, you can either delete it by pressing the delete key on the keyboard or undo the step by using the Command plus Z or Control plus Z shortcuts on your keyboard. Once all your clips are replaced, you want to go ahead and change the text. To do that, select the text on any scene and double click on it to open up the edit window on the left. And here you type out your own text. You will need to do this for all the scenes that you add for your video. Make sure that your first scene has your title or introduction and your last slide has your call to action or CTA. The final step is to change the logo. Simply click on the logo on any scene to open up the logo menu on the left. Here you use the upload option to upload your own logo image. Once it's uploaded, you just need to click on it and it will get replaced throughout the template. Now if everything looks good, click on the play button underneath the canvas to preview your shot.
once you are satisfied, go to the top right corner of the screen and hit export. We suggest exporting in 180p for the best results. You can recreate this trend for other types of brands as well. For instance, if you've built a successful business selling handmade lip glosses, you can create a short like this. The best part? You can use the same video to get more views on Instagram Reels and TikTok as well. And that's how you can create and upload a viral YouTube short within video.